Hello viewers, this is Vivek Chaudhary here and today in this video, I will discuss about some of the top rated equity mutual funds in India and how to choose the right ones to align with your financial objectives. As we know, equity mutual funds are a popular choice for investors looking to grow their wealth over the long term. They have been a favored investment vehicle for investors seeking to build wealth over time. Now when most investors try to find good mutual funds, what do they do? They usually go straight to Google and search for the best or top rated funds and they quickly get a list of highly rated funds from different rating entities. But are these ratings really as reliable as they seem? Will these funds keep their high ratings or will they lose them if they start underperforming? It's important to remember that these funds are often based on past performance which doesn't guarantee future results. This is where many investors make a mistake. Trusting ratings that are based majorly on past performance and missing out on the important factors that can drive future growth. Unfortunately, most rating agencies don't fully consider these qualitative factors when rating mutual funds. Now, before we dive into the details, it's crucial for you to understand that relying solely on star ratings when selecting mutual funds can be misleading. And as I said, star ratings are often based on past performance, which, as we know, does not guarantee future returns. The limitations of rating system that focus heavily on historical past performance are significant. These ratings might not fully capture the potential risk or the future trajectory of a fund. Therefore, it's essential to take a more comprehensive approach when evaluating mutual funds. At Personal FN, we use a proprietary methodology called the SMART score process to assess and rate mutual funds. Unlike traditional ratings, this SMART score evaluates a fund based on a 360 degree analysis. Personal FN's SMART score stands for S, that is, systems and processes. In this, we look at the fund house's investment process and discipline, checking parameters like the number of fund managers at the fund house, average number of schemes they manage, how efficiently the fund house is managing your money, and so on. M stands for market cycle performance. We analyze how the fund has performed across various market cycles in the past, including both bull and bear phases, comparing its performance with its benchmark and category peers and giving them the score for outperformance. A is the asset quality. Here we assess the quality of the fund's portfolio, looking at the factors like portfolio concentration, turnover ratio, and valuation metrics such as PE and dividend yield to understand the portfolio management style. We give weighted average score to each fund on these parameters, calling it a, the portfolio score. R is for the risk reward ratios. We evaluate the fund's risk adjusted performance using measures like standard deviation, Sharpe ratio, Sortino, Alpha, and so on. The risk ratio score has a substantial weightage in our smart score process. And finally, T means the track record. We give some weightage to the historical performance of the funds. We examine the fund's past performance across different time frames on a rolling return basis. It is not the only parameter, but one of the parameters in our smart score rating process. By using this forward-looking methodology, we aim to identify funds that are fundamentally sound and are likely to perform well in the future. We look for solid funds that are positioned well for the future and not just those that have done well in the past. So let me tell you about some of the top rated mutual fund schemes in the prominent categories under diversified equity funds. Let's begin with the large cap fund category. Large cap funds mainly invest in top 100 companies with large market capitalization. These companies are generally well established with a consistent record of stable earnings and strong financials. They often have a significant presence in the market and are the leaders in their industries. Large cap funds focus on steady growth and income by investing in these reliable and reputable firms making them a popular choice for investors who prefer relatively lower risk and long-term capital appreciation. Additionally, these funds tend to be less volatile compared to mid or small cap funds, offering a more stable investment experience. Talking about some of the top rated large cap funds, we have number 1. ICC Prudential Blue Chip Fund ICC Prudential Blue Chip Fund stands out as one of the most consistent performers in the large cap fund category earning a 5-star rating through Personal FN's Smart Score rating process. 
The fund invests in high quality large cap companies known for their strong business models and competitive advantages, maintaining a well diversified portfolio across various sectors. Over the years, ICC Prudential Blue Chip Fund has delivered impressive returns, emphasizing risk management and downside protection. By focusing on blue chip stocks, ICC Prudential Blue Chip Fund offers both stability and growth potential, making it a strong choice for diversified equity exposure. Its portfolio, which includes major holdings in companies like ICC Bank, Reliance Industries, LNT, HDFC Bank, Infosys, and so on, has demonstrated above average performance. The fund is majorly exposed to banks, auto, petroleum, infotech, and engineering, among others. The next is HDFC Top 100 Fund. HDFC Top 100 Fund is one of the popular schemes in the large cap funds category, known for its disciplined stock selection process. The fund manager prioritizes quality and holds a portfolio of 40 to 45 high conviction stocks. HDFC Top 100 Fund is a strong performer and has outperformed its benchmark over the longer periods, making it a favored choice for conservative investors. The Smart School process by Personal FN has rated HDFC Top 100 Fund a 4 star. With its focus on blue chip stocks, HDFC Top 100 Fund follows a buy and hold investment strategy concentrating on high conviction large cap stocks and avoiding momentum driven picks even if this means experiencing periods of slower growth. The fund has delivered above average performance with a portfolio currently having top holdings in companies like ICC Bank, HDFC Bank, NTPC, LNT, Bharati Airtel, Infosys, Reliance Industries and so on. Among sectors, the fund holds major allocation to banks followed by infotech, pharma, consumption and auto. Its long term success combined with strategic sectoral choices and proactive management makes it an excellent option for investors seeking a balance of stability and growth. The large cap fund number three is Nippon India Large Cap Fund. Over the last few years, Nippon India Large Cap Fund has evolved as another strong contender in the large cap fund category, showcasing a solid track record of long term performance. The fund has delivered impressive results even during periods when many large cap funds struggle to match the benchmark index. Its recent success is attributed to robust risk management and an ability to adapt to changing market conditions. Nippon India Large Cap Fund holds a 4 star rating from Personal FN based on its smart score evaluation. The fund manager focuses on diversification and holds about 55 to 65 stocks in its portfolio. Large cap names like HDFC Bank, Reliance Industries, ICC Bank, Infosys, ITC, SBI, etc. figure among its top holdings. The fund's top sector allocation is in banks, along with infotech, consumption, power, petroleum, and so on. Moving on to mid-cap funds. These funds invest in medium-sized companies that have good potential for growth. Mid-cap companies are usually in their growth phase, meaning they are expanding their business and increasing their revenues. Since mid-cap companies are relatively under research, they can provide opportunities to exploit the gap between market price and intrinsic value. These companies offer a balance between risk and return. They are more stable than small caps, but still have room to grow compared to large caps. While they carry a bit more risk than large cap funds, they also offer the chance for higher returns, making them a good option for investors looking to capitalize on emerging opportunities while diversifying their portfolios. Some of the top rated mid cap funds include number 1. HDFC Mid Cap Opportunities Fund. HDFC Midcap Opportunities Fund is known for its focus on companies with strong growth potential. The fund manager follows a bottom up approach, identifying midcap stocks with solid fundamentals. Despite its corpus of over Rs 75,000 crore, which is huge in the midcap fund segment, this fund has been managed efficiently by its fund manager, Chirak Satterwald. HDFC Midcap Opportunities Fund has shown resilience during market downturns and has delivered superior returns over the long term. Based on a smart score process, Personal FN has rated HDFC Midcap Opportunities Fund a 5 star. To manage downside risk, the fund employs diversification and maintains a portfolio of fundamentally sound growth oriented companies in the midcap and higher midcap segments. Currently, with a portfolio of around 73 stocks, its top holdings include midcap companies such as the Indian Hotels, Max Financial Services, Federal Bank, IPCA Laboratories, HPCL, Balkrishna Industries, Apollo Tires, Arbindo Pharma, and so on. Additionally, the fund has significant exposure to sectors like auto ancillaries, pharma, bank, finance, infotech, and so on.
The next mid-cap fund on the list is Kotak Emerging Equity Fund. This fund focuses on identifying the hidden growth potential of mid-sized companies. The fund's portfolio leans heavily towards mid-caps with notable exposure to small caps and some allocation to large caps. By utilizing a bottom-up stock selection strategy, the funds look for quality mid-sized companies across sectors and follows a buy and hold approach to maximize long-term growth potential of these companies. It maintains a well-diversified portfolio of around 65 to 70 stocks across various sectors. Currently, its top holdings include companies like Persistent Systems, Emphasis, Oracle Financial Services, Supreme Industries, Obera Realities, Fortis Healthcare, and so on. The fund's portfolio is diversified across sectors such as auto ancillaries, infotech, chemicals, pharma, finance, among others. Kotak Emerging Equity Fund has a strong track record of delivering market beating returns across most time periods, consistently ranking in the top quartile of its category. Personal FN, using its smart score process, has awarded Kotak Emerging Equity Fund a four star rating. The mid-cap fund number three is Quant Mid-Cap Fund. Quant Mid-Cap Fund is an actively managed mid-cap fund that has delivered exceptional performance in recent years, topping the returns chart in its category. The fund follows an active investment approach focusing on buy on dip strategy to consistently seek attractive opportunities. It is sector and benchmark agnostic, meaning its stock and sector weightages are not tied to the benchmark index. By identifying promising stocks and sectors early and increasing exposure, the fund has seen impressive growth. The fund managers quickly adjust allocation to capitalize on market opportunities. Corn Midcap Fund uses a quantitative approach to select high growth potential stocks based on market, industry, sector, and economic factors. This fund holds many of its stocks with a short term view, leading to a typically high turnover rate. Through the smart score methodology, Personal FN has given Corn Midcap Fund a four star rating. Currently, it has names like Urbindo Pharma, Reliance Industries, Container Corporation, IRB Infrastructure, and Sale among its top holdings, and has its major sector allocation to pharma, metals, petroleum, logistics, engineering, etc. Now let's talk about small cap funds. As we know, these funds invest in smaller companies that have the potential to become tomorrow's mid-cap and even large cap. These small size companies are often in their early growth stage which can offer investors significant growth opportunities as they expand. However, small cap funds typically come with higher volatility and risk compared to mid and large cap funds, as these companies are more sensitive to market fluctuation and economic changes. While the potential for higher returns is attractive, investors should be prepared for periods of sharp ups and downs. Small cap funds are ideal for those with high risk appetite and a long-term investment horizon seeking to tap into emerging businesses with strong growth prospects. The first fund in the small cap list is HDFC Small Cap Fund. HDFC Small Cap Fund stands out as one of the stable schemes in the small cap fund category. The fund manager prioritizes identifying small cap companies with strong growth potential and solid management practices. By carefully selecting businesses set for expansion, HDFC Small Cap Fund has delivered decent returns across both bullish and bearish market phases, making it a popular choice for aggressive investors seeking higher risk and reward from a reliable small cap fund. With a diversified portfolio across various sectors, the fund aims to capture the growth of emerging companies while maintaining a focus on quality. HDFC Small Cap Fund has delivered strong returns with a reasonably diversified portfolio of around 80 to 90 stocks that currently includes top holdings in companies like First Source Solution, Bank of Baroda, eClerk Services, AstraDM Healthcare, Sonata Software, Aries Life Sciences, PowerMac Projects, The Great Eastern Shipping, and so on. In terms of sector exposure, the fund's portfolio is currently diversified across infotech, auto ancillaries, pharma, engineering, banks, etc. HDFC Small Cap Fund holds a 4 star rating from Personal FN, reflecting its strong performance and strategic approach. The Small Cap Fund number 2 is Nippon India Small Cap Fund. Nippon India Small Cap Fund is a well known option in the small cap fund category, attracting investors with its potential for high growth. The fund's AUM has recently crossed Rs 60,000 crore and is oversized for a small cap fund, which could impact its capacity and efficiency. Its large size is one of the reasons why the fund manager is following a highly diversified approach, investing in a broad range of over 200 stocks spread across various sectors. While the fund manager aims to capture growth opportunities and at the same time looks to spreading the risk through diversification, it has added too many names to the portfolio. 
currently rated 4 star by Personal FN through its smart school process, Nippon India Small Cap Fund has delivered strong returns, making it a popular choice for investors with a high risk appetite. The fund aims to capture the potential of emerging companies and maintains a well-balanced portfolio with top holdings in companies such as HDFC Bank, YouTube Investments, MCX, Voltam Transformers, Apar Industries, Kirloskoy Brothers, Bail, and so on. Its sector exposure is also broad, with significant investment in industries like engineering, infotech, pharma, auto ancillaries, chemicals, and so on. As an investor, it's important to note that a fund's portfolio includes over 180 stocks that have insignificant exposure with each stock accounting for less than 1% of its total assets. Many of these stocks have a negligible impact on the fund's overall performance. The next category I will talk about is FlexiCap funds. As the name suggests, FlexiCap funds provide the flexibility to invest across market capitalization that is large cap, mid cap and small cap stocks. This adaptability allows the fund managers to respond to shifting market conditions by adjusting the portfolio allocation based on where they see the most growth potential or value at any given time. The ability to move between cap sizes, whether focusing on the stability of the large cap stocks during volatile periods or tapping into the high growth potential of mid and small cap stocks give these funds an edge over the other fund categories. This dynamic approach aims to optimize returns while managing risk offering investors a diversified investment option that can offer a balance between growth and stability without being restricted to any one market cap segment. FlexiCap Fund number 1 is Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund. Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund is a versatile fund with the flexibility to invest across large cap, mid cap and small cap stocks in any proportion. It follows a value oriented approach aiming to invest in high quality stocks that are available at reasonable or attractive valuations. One of the key differentiators of Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund is its ability to diversify beyond domestic equities. Typically, the fund allocates nearly one-third of its corpus to offshore companies, although this has recently been reduced to around 12% due to regulatory limits on overseas investment for mutual funds. The fund's focus on value stocks combined with a strong margin of safety has helped it keep volatility in check while delivering superior risk adjusted returns for its investors. Through the smart school process, Personal FN has given Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund a 5-star rating. The fund managers employ an active investment strategy guided by thorough fundamental research and a bottom-up stock selection process. Emphasizing on intrinsic value, they aim to purchase stocks at a discount to their true worth, thereby creating value for investors. Its top holdings are in companies such as HDFC Bank, PowerGrid, Bajaj Holdings and Investment, ITC, Coal India, ICSA Bank and so on. Parag Parik FlexiCap Fund also provides investors with the added benefit of international diversification through investment in stocks like Meta, Alphabet INC that is Google, Microsoft and Amazon. Its portfolio exposure is in sectors like bank, infotech, finance, power, mining, etc. The next fund in this category is HDFC FlexiCap Fund. HDFC FlexiCap Fund is one of the oldest and most established schemes in the FlexiCap Fund category. It offers the flexibility to invest across different market capitalization and sectors without any restriction. The fund has consistently maintained a diversified portfolio with a strong presence for large cap stocks which make up over 70% of its holdings. HDFC FlexiCap Fund aims to build a well diversified portfolio across key industries, economic sectors and market caps, balancing risk and reward. Its investment approach is a blend of growth and value strategy, avoiding momentum driven stocks even if it means underperformance in the short term. Though market cap agnostic, the fund focuses mainly on large cap stocks with selective mid and small cap ideas that offer high potential. HDFC FlexiCap Fund seeks opportunities in companies with sustainable business models using both top-down and bottom-up approaches to stock picking, targeting high growth potential stocks available at reasonable valuations. HDFC FlexiCap Fund prioritizes high conviction long-term holdings Accordingly, its portfolio is built around 45 strong conviction stocks, holding most of them for the long term. Its top holdings include companies such as ICSA Bank, HDFC Bank, Axis Bank, CIPLA, HCL Technologies, SBI Life Insurance, Bharti Airtel, Kotak Mahindra Bank, etc. While one third of the fund's portfolio is exposed to banks, the other sector exposure in the portfolio spans around pharma, infotech, auto, insurance, and so on. HDFC FlexiCap Fund has constantly delivered strong risk-adjusted returns for its investors. 
Personal FN has awarded the fund a 5 star rating reflecting its robust performance and strategic investment approach. Next category is multi-cap funds. Multi-cap funds come with a defined market cap allocation mandate while investing in stocks across large cap, mid cap and small caps. They maintain a balanced exposure to each category to ensure a diversified portfolio with at least 25 percentage of assets allocated to each market cap segment. By investing across a broad range of companies, multi-cap funds offer a blend of stability from large cap stocks, growth potential from mid cap stocks and higher risk reward trade off of small caps. This diversification can help investors spread risk while capturing opportunities from different segments of the market, making it a suitable choice for those looking for a balanced approach to long-term wealth creation. In this category, we have Nippon India Multicap Fund. Nippon India Multicap Fund has consistently stayed true to its name by maintaining a well-diversified allocation across large cap, mid cap and small cap stocks. As a multi-cap fund, it is mandated to invest at least 25% of its assets in each of these market cap segments, ensuring a balanced exposure. The fund primarily focuses on growth stocks expected to benefit from economic expansion, with a preference for companies showing a high ROE, that is return on equity. Additionally, it blends in value stocks to diversify the portfolio further. Nippon India Multicap Fund adopts a mix of both top-down and bottom-up approaches for stock selection taking active sector calls to capture the opportunities early. It aims to build a portfolio of market leaders, sustainable alpha creators and companies with emerging on each teams. Currently, this fund holds a highly diversified portfolio of about 110 stocks, up from its usual range of 90 to 100, featuring top names like HDFC Bank, ICC Bank, Infosys, Reliance Industries, Lind India, GUTND, Axis Bank, NTPC and so on. Banking, finance, engineering, auto, pharma, etc. stand among its top sector allocation. With a diversified strategy, the fund has managed to deliver strong returns for its investors. Personal FN has awarded Nippon India Multicap Fund a 4 star rating through its smart score methodology. And finally, let's discuss value funds. Value funds focus on investing in stocks that are considered undervalued based on detailed fundamental analysis. The primary objective of value funds is to identify companies that are trading at prices lower than their intrinsic value, offering significant potential for price appreciation over time. By investing in such undervalued stocks, value funds aim to capitalize on market inefficiencies, providing long-term growth opportunities for investors. In addition to targeting value stocks, value funds partially employ a contrarian investment strategy, seeking to benefit from stocks and sectors that are currently out of favor with the broader market. The contra approach enables the fund managers to identify opportunities in areas that may be overlooked or undervalued by others, positioning the fund to profit when the market eventually recognizes their potential. Value funds thus offer a combination of cautious, value-driven investing along with the potential of high returns as the market corrects its mispricing of these stocks. The first value fund on the list is ICSA Prudential Value Discovery Fund. This is a well-established value-focused fund that seeks stocks at a significant discount to the intrinsic value. True to its value mandate, the fund consistently identifies undervalued stocks that have delivered strong long-term returns. It follows a diversified approach targeting value opportunities across market caps and sectors to mitigate risk. ICS Potential Value Discovery Fund uses fundamental analysis to assess a stock's intrinsic value and follows a bottom-up stock picking strategy. Its discovery process identifies stocks with attractive valuation based on metrics like earnings, book value, or dividends, making them potential bargains. ICC Potential Value Discovery Fund's commitment to value investing has rewarded investors, offering a margin of safety during downturns while performing well in the bullish markets. Its top holdings include HDFC Bank, Infosys, ICC Bank, Sun Pharma, and Reliance Industries, with sector exposures spanning across banks, pharma, infotech, petroleum, consumption, and so on. Personal FN has awarded this fund a 5-star rating through its smart score methodology, reflecting its strong performance and solid fundamentals. The next is Tata Equity PE Fund. Tata Equity PE Fund is another top performer in the value fund category, focusing on high-quality stocks with strong growth potential at discounted valuation. It uses a price-to-earnings, that is PE ratio, to identify attractively priced stocks which are further assessed using various quantitative and qualitative criteria to gauge their investment worthiness. The Tata Equity PE Fund's core strategy is value investing, targeting undervalued companies poised for recovery or profitability improvement. By focusing on stocks with future earnings growth potential, 
Tata Equity PE Fund aims to deliver long-term alpha for its investors. At least 70% of the fund's assets are invested in stocks with a PE ratio lower than BSC Sensex 12-month trailing PE, regardless of index inclusion. The fund also considers factors like management strength and business competitiveness. Currently, the fund's top holdings include HDFC Bank, BPCL, Coal India, Kotak Mahindra Bank, NTPC, with sector exposure across banking, finance, petroleum, power, auto, and so on. Personal FN has awarded Tata Equity PE Fund a 5 star rating, reflecting its strong performance and prudent risk management through the smart score evaluation process. The third is Quantum Long Term Equity Value Fund. This is a classic value style fund aimed at achieving long term capital appreciation by primarily investing shares of companies within the BSC 200 index that are attractively priced compared to the fund manager's valuation. By focusing on stocks trading at a discount to their intrinsic value, this fund has effectively identified undervalued stocks with the potential for exceptional long-term returns. Quantum Long-Term Equity Value Fund employs a disciplined research and investment process to select value stocks based on attractive valuations relative to earnings and book value. The fund managers emphasize on the management quality and ethical standards while picking stocks for the portfolio with a long-term view and focus on typical buy and hold strategy to maximize the portfolio potential. To safeguard the portfolio, the fund managers closely monitor market valuations and strategically increase cash allocation when valuation become excessive. This means that during high valuation, the fund raises its cash position and gradually reverts to equities as valuation normalizes. This strategy allows the investors to capitalize on value buying during market correction, which can be beneficial in the long run. The top holdings in the fund's portfolio include names like HDFC Bank, ICC Bank, Infosys, Bharti Airtel, Compton Greaves, SBI, ICC Life Insurance, and so on. The sector allocation of the fund's portfolio is majorly into banks, infotech, auto, finance, and insurance, which together account for almost two-thirds of the portfolio. While this fund may not figure among the category toppers, it is one of the safely managed funds with a focus on quality stocks picked through a stringent research process. Based on a smart score process, Personal FN has rated Quantum Long-Term Equity Value Fund a 5-star option. The next is SBI Contra Fund. SBI Contra Fund is the oldest scheme in the Contra Fund category, designed to create a diversified portfolio of stocks across various market capitalization and sectors. The fund employs a blend of top-down and bottom-up approach to identify high-conviction contrarian investments. It focuses on companies and sectors that are currently out of favor but have the potential for long-term growth. By seeking temporary neglected stocks with strong intrinsic value and solid fundamentals, SBI Contra Fund aims to capitalize on under-owned sectors that may be set for a turnaround. SBI Contra Fund strategically identifies attractive opportunities across different market caps and sectors, allowing it to benefit from the potential recovery of beaten down or overlooked stocks. It typically maintains substantial exposure across the market cap spectrum, including large cap, mid cap and small cap stocks. In recent years, SBI Contra Fund has demonstrated impressive performance, significantly outperforming its benchmark and category peers. According to Personal FN Smart Score process, it has earned a 5 star rating. If we look at the current portfolio of the fund, its top holdings include HDFC Bank, Gale, Tech Mahindra, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Indus Towers, Whirlpool, Reliance Industries, ITC, SBI, and Dava India, with top exposure in banks, Infotech, Pharma, Auto, and Petroleum. So you see, these were some of the top rated equity funds from Personal FN that command higher rating based on the comprehensive smart score process, where each fund is analyzed on a host of quantitative and qualitative parameters. While star ratings can provide a quick snapshot of a fund's past performance, they are not the only factor to consider when selecting mutual funds. A fund that has performed well in the past might not continue to do so in the future, and relying solely on star ratings could lead to suboptimal investment decisions. You as an investor should preferably take a more comprehensive approach considering factors like the fund house systems and processes, performance across market cycles, asset quality, risk reward ratios, and track record. The smart score methodology used by Personal FN offers a more holistic view, helping investors identify funds that are fundamentally sound and likely to perform well in the future. Kindly note that the funds mentioned in this video is only for information purpose. It should not be treated as a mutual fund recommendation or advice to make an investment decision in the mentioned schemes. Remember, it is essential to align your mutual fund investment with your risk appetite and financial goals. 
don't simply chase after five star or four star rated funds instead focus on building on a diversified portfolio with funds that have been thoroughly analyzed and suited to your investment strategy so thank you for watching and we hope this video helped you with better insights on some of the top rated equity mutual funds in india if you have any questions or need further assistance feel free to reach out to us at personal fn if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more such insightful content on investment and finance thank you for watching this is vivek chaurasia signing off please note that this video is for information purpose and does not constitute any kind of investment advice or a recommendation to buy hold or sell a fund mutual fund investments are subject to market risk read all scheme related documents carefully registration granted by sebi membership of bsl and certification from nism in no way guarantee performance of the intermediary or provide any assurance of return to investors investment in securities market are subject to market risk read all related documents carefully before investing